I would say starting off, if, if you already know what product or service you want to promote, then start off researching as to what kind of things these people like who buy this product. Let's say, I don't know, if you're selling, um, uh, let's say, Russell Brunson's course, you know, um, uh, he's, he's got many. Or just ClickFunnel. Let's say you're selling ClickFunnel, he's, the software. You know, so you, now, you know, you're, you're going to be promoting this software. So the audience that buys soft, this software, what kind of other things they're into and you start providing value in those areas. Right. So it, it, that's, that's the way, because you're not just going to go in and say, Hey, well, you know, buy ClickFunnels from my account and maybe I'll give you this bonus. And you know, every, every Tom, Dick and Harry is giving away a bonus with, with, <laughs> with, with a ClickFunnels account. Okay. It's a, it's, it's, it's now become a little bit boring. You've got to become more innovative and creative if you want ac uh, actually people to buy from you, to buy the product from you. So, it, and which, which means that you maybe have to become a little bit more creative about what kind of value you can give to them. Yeah. And so that they start coming into your tribe. And then if, uh, eventually, you know, if, if, they, if they're saying that that value is helpful to them, then they're more likely to buy that affiliate product from you than go to somebody else who is not giving them that relevant value. So uh, for me, I think, as a, especially as an affiliate marketer, I would say to start off researching the audience, you know, what they're into. Uh, and secondly, uh, uh, you know, uh, be com become comfortable with what kind of content you're going to provide. So if it's video content, then, you know, acquire the skills in that. How am I going to provide that? What, what do I need to do? You know, which are not very difficult skills these days. Uh, you know, some YouTube videos will tell you what, what tools you need and, and what do you need to do to do a live? Or if you're providing it through a podcast like yourself, you know, you know, you would have to acquire a few skills there. Or if you just want to write blog posts about it, then you will have to just acquire some skills about how do I start a blog, you know, the tech side of it maybe, and, and, and posting it daily. So these are, these are small little skills that are starting off. I would say, yes, it's good to know, to acquire them. But you also, and as, as you're slowly starting out, you know, um, but as, uh, as you grow, um, it's a good idea to give some of those things which are tedious, like the tech side of it, you don't need to do, you know, you, you, can, you can give it to somebody on Fiverr, just outsource it. Um, and because you should be the one um, bringing content to the world, you know, it's, uh, you know, bringing value to the world or bringing actually the, uh, the business to, uh, you know, the, the leads um, into your business. So, but initially I would say those are, um, are the initial skills that first research what audience you want to and what kind of value you want to provide and acquire the skills that's needed to give them that value. 